have two main parts here. The first one is the primary coil, and that's that part that goes around. The second one is the secondary coil inside. And the additional part we have for this machine, above the machine, you can see the sphere, that's our grounding. And we are letting the electricity go through this primary coil, which creates an electromagnetic field inside. That electromagnetic field induces the current to go upwards through the secondary coil. And you can see copper wires wrapped around all the way from the bottom to the top. More wires means higher voltage at the end, and that's how we get 500,000. But that electricity needs to go somewhere, and the electricity always finds the quickest or the shortest way to the grounding. That's why we have the sphere above to be the grounding. We are letting the electricity go, and then if there will be a discharge from the secondary coil into the sphere in a form of lightning. So lightning jumps out and hits the sphere, and when that happens, we have the second purpose of this machine, wireless transmission of electricity. When the lightning strikes, it ionizes the air around us, so we are all transmitting electricity, but you cannot feel it, you cannot see it, you cannot see ions. However, you can see how they affect the neon gas inside the lens. The lens will glow without a single cable connecting them to the machine. That's why it's called wireless transmission of electricity. And that can be proved, but for that we need volunteers to call the lens. So just raise your hand if you want the lamp 